name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And, and with, with your, your spirit. spirit. Dear brothers and sisters, shall we pray with the psalmist, Psalm 90, verse 14. Satisfy us with your steadfast love in the morning, so that we may rejoice and be glad all our days to be filled with his steadfast, forgiving love. Let us repent about and confess our sins. I confess, I confess to Almighty, to Almighty God, God and, and to you, my brothers, brothers and sisters, sisters that, that I, I have greatly sinned in, in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore I ask, Blessed Mary, your Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to, to pray, pray for, for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Amen. Lord, have mercy on us all. Lord, have mercy Let us pray. Almighty ever-living God, grant that we may always conform our will to yours and serve your majesty in sincerity of heart through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. The first reading, a reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Romans, chapter 6, verses 19 to 23. 
if I may use human terms to help your natural weakness, has once you put your bodies at the service of vice and immortality. So now you must put them at service of righteousness for your sanctification. When you were slaves of sin, you felt no obligation to righteousness. And what did you get from this? Nothing but experiences that now make you blush, since that sort of behavior ends in death. Now, however, you have been set free from sin. You have been made slaves of God, and you get a reward leading to your sanctification and ending in eternal life. For the wage paid by sin is death. The present given by God is eternal life in Christ Jesus our Lord. The word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be, be to God. God. Happy the man who has placed his trust in the Lord. Happy the man who has placed his trust in the Lord. Happy indeed is the man who follows not the counsel of the wicked, nor lingers in the way of sinners, nor sit in the company of scorners, but whose delight is the law of the Lord, and who ponders his law day and night. Happy the man who has placed his trust in the Lord. He is like a tree that is planted besides the flowing waters, that yields its fruit in due season, and whose leaves never fade, and all that he does shall prosper. Happy the man who has placed his trust in the Lord. Not so are the wicked, not so, for they are like winnowed shaft, shall be driven away by the wind, for the Lord guards the way of the just, but the way of the wicked leads to doom. Happy the man who has placed his trust in the Lord. Kindly rise to the gospel acclamation. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. I have accepted the loss of everything and I look on everything has so much rubbish. If only I can have Christ and be given a place in Him. Hallelujah. 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 The Lord be with you. And, and with, with your, your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory, Glory to, to you, you, O Lord. Lord. Jesus said to his disciples, 
I came to bring fire to the earth, and how I wish it were already kindled. I have a baptism with which to be baptized, and what stress I am under until it is completed. Do you think that I have come to bring peace to the earth? No, I tell you, but rather division. From now on, five in one household will be divided, three against two and two against three. They will be divided, father against son, and son against father, mother against daughter, and daughter against mother, mother-in-law against her daughter-in-law, and daughter-in-law against mother-in-law. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise, Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Christ. Dear brothers and sisters, today's gospel may sound a bit disturbing. Shall we try to understand these words of Jesus with the Old Testament background in which he was speaking? As we know, in the book of Isaiah, the prophet presented Messiah as the Prince of Peace. Also, in the Old Testament, fire means the judgment of God. So in that context, let us try to understand what Jesus was telling. Peace, fire. While Jesus was born in Bethlehem, we hear the voice the words of the angels. Glory to God in the highest. Peace to all people on earth. Jesus himself said, I leave my peace. I give you my peace for you. And this is how we understand the message of peace and the words of Jesus about fire. Jesus said, I have to undergo a baptism. We know that baptism is his passion and death, painful suffering of Jesus. In the Gospel of Luke chapter 4, while Jesus started preaching, quoting from the book of Isaiah, the Spirit of the Lord is upon me. And the response of the people we see, they were amazed about his words. After some time, when Jesus started speaking, no prophet is accepted in his hometown. We read about their response. They were all filled with rage. So we understand the response of the people towards the words of Jesus at that time itself were different. Some of them were able to understand the message of Jesus. They were ready to accept the message of Jesus and some others were not ready. So we shall not try to understand these words of Jesus on the basis of a Christian family as we have today. So at that time, the gospel uh, was preached to them. Some were ready to receive the message and some were rejecting the message. So the members of the same family, some were uh, accepting the message and some were rejecting the message of Jesus. And that's how the possibility of division. And this fire, as I said, it's uh, about judgment of God. Jesus said about this judgment. What is the judgment? The light has come into the world, but the people loved darkness rather than light. Letter to the Ephesians. St. Paul wrote, chapter 5, verse 11. Take no part in the unfruitful works of darkness, but instead expose them. So there is always a conflict between light and darkness. 
the message of jesus and the ways of the world that is the cause of uh, struggle turmoil or uh, tension division so dear brothers and sisters even uh, in our personal life we know there is a conflict there is a struggle because sometimes i am for the gospel of jesus i want to follow the message of jesus in some cases i am not ready to surrender myself to the message of jesus so what happens there is a conflict in my heart there is peace when i am ready to uh, surrender completely to the message of gospel to the message of jesus then there will be peace but instead when i find it difficult to surrender some areas of my life there will be a conflict in my own heart the same thing happens in a family sometimes uh, we have seen the parents especially the mothers they are so much worried just because that they they find their children they are not living according to the uh, word of god that causes pain for them sometimes that causes even today in christian families uh, divisions and problems so the baptism of jesus the baptism of passion and death that baptism is for every one of us everyone who is ready to accept the discipleship to uh, everyone who is ready to accept the message of jesus who is ready to become a disciple of jesus also has to undergo this passion and death probably that passion and death something which happens in one's own heart the painful surrender uh, that is to be done just because to uh, because the person wants to follow the message of the kingdom of god means we have to give up abandon many things to be the disciple of jesus matthew in his gospel instead of uh, talking about this fire he uses the word sword i have not brought peace but sword what is the characteristic of sword it it divides it pierces so about which we read in the letter to the hebrews that's about word of god word of god it pierces it divides so everyone when he is ready to accept the word of god that causes a kind of piercing division that will divide your own heart that will make a division in the family because the message of jesus and the message of the world are different and they are in contradiction so this is an inescapable inescapable consequence of message of jesus division a division in one's own heart a division in the family a division in the community division just because that there is an acceptance for the message of jesus and there is rejection of the message of jesus blessed are you lord god of all creation thanks to your goodness this bread we offer fruit of the earth work of our hands it will become the bread of life blessed be god blessed be god bless 
brothers and sisters that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God may be acceptable to God the almighty father may the, may the lord, lord accept, accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name for our good and the good of all his holy church grant us lord we pray a sincere respect for your gifts that through the purifying action of your grace we may be cleansed by the very mysteries we serve through Christ our lord amen, amen. the lord be with you and with, with your, your spirit. spirit lift up your hearts we lift, lift them up to, to the lord. lord let us give thanks to the lord our god it, it is, is right, right and, and just. just it is truly right and just our duty and our salvation always sent every word to give you thanks lord holy father almighty and eternal god for although you have no need of our praise yet our thanksgiving is itself your gift since our praise add nothing to your greatness but profit as for salvation through Christ our lord and so in company with the choirs of angels we praise you and with joy we proclaim indeed holy o lord the founder of all holiness may holy therefore these gifts we pray by sending down your spirit upon them like the dew fall so that they may become for us the body and blood of our lord jesus christ at the time he was betrayed and he entered willingly into his passion he took bread and giving thanks broke it and gave it to his disciples saying take this all of you and eat of it for this is my body which will be given up for you in a similar way when supper was entered he took the chalice and once more giving thanks he gave it to his disciples saying take this all of you and drink from it for this is the chalice of my blood the blood of the new and eternal covenant which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins do this in memory of me the mystery of faith we proclaim your death o lord and profess your resurrection until you come again therefore as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection we offer you lord the bread of life and the chalice of salvation giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ we may be gathered into one by the holy spirit remember lord your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with the francis our pope and george our archbishop and all the clergy remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection 
and all who have died in your mercy, welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on a soul, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Saint Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be caused to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him. O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Amen. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy, thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from all evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For, For the, the kingdom, the, the power, and, and the glory are yours. Now, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church. Graciously grant here peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And, and with, with your spirit. spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb, Lamb of God, God you, you take, take away, away the sins, sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb, Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say a word and my soul shall be healed. Shepherd of my soul, I give you full spiritual communion. My Jesus, I believe that you are truly present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things and I desire earnestly to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as you are already there in my heart. I unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Let us pray. Grant, O Lord, we pray, that benefiting from participation in heavenly things, we may be helped by what you give in this present age and prepared for the gifts that are eternal. 
Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And, and with, with your, your spirit. spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. The Mass is entered. Let us go in peace and glorify the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be, be to God. God. Divine Retreat Center begins the weekly residential retreats in English from the 31st of October, Sunday to Friday. Only those who are completely vaccinated with both doses and have made the prior registration will be allowed for the retreat. For prior registration, contact us on plus 9194 Four six five six nine nine six six. Email us at divine retreat center at gmail dot com.